So today I'll be talking on uh, role of Vaptans in treatment of hyponatremia in uh, ICU. So this talk I gave it in national conference in Varanasi in the year 2018 in March. So the topics I would be covering in this talk would, uh, it would be the physiology of sodium hemostasis and uh, what is the role of oral and intravenous Vaptans in correcting hyponatremia. So we look into some of the studies. So there are two molecules that have been studied. So tolvaptin, there are two trials, SALT1 trial and SALT2 trial. And lixivaptin, this is not available in India. So they have done a study called Dipra study. And uh, there are studies comparing oral tolvaptin versus 3% saline. And with regards to IV conivaptin, which is no longer currently available in India, there are three studies and one of which was published from our center and take home message. So I think when you look at the background, so what we understand is the ionic content of a ocean or a sea is similar to that of the blood. So the sodium and chloride is predominantly present in the interstitial space and uh, the sodium and chloride contributes to 80% of the osmolality that is 280 to 290 milliosmoles per kg. So the whole osmolality of the blood is contributed predominantly by sodium and chloride. And what we need to understand is this range of 280 to 290, even minimal disturbance within the body up to 1%, even when there is a minimal change in this osmolality of 1%, so body has dramatic mechanisms to detect and correct any changes that are happening with the osmolality within the body. So it is such a fine balance nature exercises in keeping the osmolality in that range 280 to 290 and this detection and correction happens by neural and hormonal systems so and your whole neuronal and hormonal systems maintain serum osmolality within 10 percent of the standard deviation so it does not allow things to go above 10 percent of the standard deviation so any small disturbance i think the corrective mechanisms are put in place and what are the corrective mechanisms? So there are uh, corrected mainly by osmoreceptors and baroreceptors. So baroreceptors are present on the atrium which gets activated in the setting of any disturbance in the osmolarity. And you have osmoreceptors present in the brain in the hypothalamic and pituitary region. So which gets activated uh, in the setting of disturbance in the sodium and the osmolality that ensues. So, and when there is a gross disparity in the osmolality, the thirst center gets activated and concomitantly these receptors, osmoreceptors get activated.